What is Jati? A short and direct answer from the Niralamba Upanishad. The Niralamba Upanishad is one of the most important Upanishads categorized as a Samanya Upanishad, one which is applicable for the general audience, meaning the answers are direct and not couched in any symbolism. The Upanishad itself is in the form of a series of questions and answers to these questions. One such question is Ka Jati. What is Jati? And the Upanishad gives an excellent, simple answer to this question. Before we get into the Upanishad's answer, let us understand the word Jati. Jati often is taken to mean tribal identity. Ancient scholars have actually used the word Jati as a way to denote a category or a variety. Later, it became a social construct which denoted the tribe into which one was born in. In today's context, it is sometimes equated with the word caste. Another term, varna, is often used to denote an individual's inclination that puts them in pursuit of different things. The Upanishad avoids all these distinctions and instead it gets into the heart of the matter and asks, what is jati? And then it gives a very simple, direct answer. Jati riti cha na charmano na raktasya na mamsasya na chastinaha na jati ratmano jatir vyavahara prakalpita. Let us go through this verse. Jati riti cha na charmano na raktasya na mamsasya na chastinaha. Jati is not due to one's skin, nor due to one's blood, nor due to one's flesh, nor due to one's bones. So, Jati, the Upanishad says, is not due to one's skin color, nor due to one's appearance, nor due to one's lineage. You cannot be labeled based on any of these attributes. And the very next line states, Na Jati Ratmano. It very clearly states, the Atma has no Jati, the Self has no Jati. And then it concludes saying, Jatir Vyavahara Prakalpita. At the very best, one can be assigned to a jati, which here means a category or a variety, only as per one's vyavahara, behavior and inclination, something that can be empirically observed. So, this is the short answer that the Niralamba Upanishad gives. All these distinctions of tribe are illusory. One can at best be categorized based on one's behavior and inclinations. As always, the known is a drop and the unknown an ocean peace.